Former Pinellas County deputy won't face time in prison for a drunken crash that claimed a young mother's life. As ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson tells us, that woman's family is now outraged. Two years ago, Doug and Kimberly Marler lost their light. The strength that you have to have as an individual and a parent to go through all of this. Their 20 year old daughter, Allie, died when former deputy Timothy Vaughn hit her motorcycle on US 301. Vaughn was drunk at the time. He doesn't represent the oath that they take. They take an oath to protect the people. The state charged him with manslaughter and DUI, but this week a jury announced a blow to the family. The jury heard from expert witnesses on both sides about where on the road the crash started. The jury didn't believe former Deputy Vaughn caused the crash, so the manslaughter charge was dropped, but the DUI charge stuck. As I see it, he stands here as any first time DUI offender. The former deputy being sentenced to a year's probation and a fine, no prison. It just didn't happen the way everybody thought it happened. Vaughn's defense attorney says the former deputy lives with the pain every day. It's just a terrible tragedy uh, and he's living with that the rest of his life anyway. Today he's done with it. We will never, ever be done with this. And now the Marler family is just working on keeping Allie's memory alive for her young daughter. She'll never know in person the love of her mom because one man decided to make a choice. Reporting in Manatee County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.